Alright, so this is a second tutorial for Avogadro, uh, which is summarized right here. Uh, so in this tutorial you will learn the more advanced tools, um, how to change the background settings, uh, the different view options, and the different ways you can save your file. So we'll get back to our, our favorite methanol module. So the first thing that I want to show you now is how to rotate a bond or stretch it. So this is the bond-centric manipulation tool, which is the third button right here. So um, here, basically, you select a plane that you want to rotate your molecule in by the left click. So let's say right here. And then you select the atoms that you want to rotate around. So let's say I want to click this and then I just drag it around and rotate the molecule. The other thing you can do is select the plane and then stretch the bond. So this is a right click and drag. The left click anywhere else on the display cancels everything. So it resets. Um, next thing is the auto rotation and display types. The auto rotation is a little purple arrow right here. When you click on it, you would get to auto rotate settings on the left bottom right here. So you can select the rotation axes and then click on start. Your molecule starts rotating. So this is a good time to show you the different display types that you see on the left top right here. For now we have ball and stick, but you can get to, let's say, simple wireframe, or a stick, just a wireframe, and you can also, for instance, display the uh, van der Waals spheres. Uh, also, right here on the right side of this window, you have little keys. If you press on them, you will get to the different settings for that particular display type. So, let's say you have the objects, colors, settings. If you go in the vulnerables right here, you also have the opacity. So you can make it almost transparent or fully opaque. If you want to stop the rotation, you click on stop and reset. Alright, so I'll get back to my ball and stick one. Next thing I want to show you is the auto optimization. Okay, so this is very important for the Gaussian part of <laughs> your work. Uh, because the extension optimized geometry tool is quick tool, but it's not good enough for Gaussian. So it usually works on smaller molecule like methanol, but if you get to a benzene ring or our favorite is benzene, it's not going to be good enough. So let's go to the auto optimization button, which is right here. On the left here, you can select the force field method that you want to use. Usually the UFF is good, or the MMFF94 is fine too. But we'll stick with the UFF. Then you can select the steps per update. 4 is usually fine. You can get to more. Uh, and then you click on start. So here you have the energy of the molecule in kilojoules per mole. Uh, and let's see what it does if you distort the molecule. So, boom. It will automatically readjust everything and get back to the lowest energy possible. It's very fun. You can do crazy stuff with it. So when you get a, to a relatively constant number, you can press on stop. And that's your optimized geometry.
All right, uh, so now we get to the measurement tool. If you want to, um, let's say, measure the angle between two atoms or the distance between, let's say, these two, so you just click, click, and you get the distance right here in Amsterdam's. Uh, if I want the angle, let's say in, in right here, then I do one, two, three, and I get the angle right here. I also get the distance between the different atoms that I selected. Uh, for the distances, it can be any two atoms, doesn't mean that they have to be adjacent, right? And there you go. So I'm going to show you different background settings that you can select. So if you want to add this drawing uh, into a paper, for instance, you might want to get yourself a white background. So then you have to go into view, select background color, and you can choose whatever color you want. And then just click OK. Um, the view options. If you have more than one molecule you want to work with, you can go into View, Duplicate View, and then build something else here. Okay, so now you just copy pasted the same molecule, but you can do different ones. Uh, you can also go into full screen mode, so you don't see anything around, and you press Escape to exit. Uh, if you don't want to see the axis right here, you can deselect it right here. And you have also different properties. Now, if you have not calculated using Gaussian or other software, the molecule properties, etc., etc., then if you click on these, your program will freeze, usually. Ta -da! So don't do it unless you actually did the calculation. So now I'll have to restart. Um, all right, so let's say I want to have this molecule for now. And I want to save it in a whatever format. So I'll go into Save As. So here you have the different formats you can save it in. Uh, so these ones, Gamus input, Gaussian Cartesian input, blah, 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 you don't need that. So forget about it. Um, basically, this, the CML, will let you reopen something in Gaussian, uh, in Avogadro again. And if you want to have a Gaussian input, we'll talk about this in our third tutorial. And there's a different procedure for that. Um, so, there you go. They're all the different types. If you're using, let's say, this software, you'll have a different input type. And you can choose whatever you want. The easiest thing to get um, this molecule as a picture, let's say, would be to press Alt Print Screen and just put it into Paint and save it. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. Um, the next one will be to show you how to do the Gaussian input and how to make a simple calculation Gaussian. See you.